connecting here you can look at that i am connecting 100 ohm resistance just i am connecting anywhere in the spring board you can connect 100 or 100 and with this you can see that then you see that a diode a diode is connected a diode just then then you can see then we'll, we'll connect a diode here then then in then there is a low resistance low resistance will be connected in you can look at that low resistance is connected in parallel with the diode therefore just diode let let the diode to be therefore low resistance we can connect here and you can see this is the low resistance of 10k this has been connected here and diode also be connected here now you can you can come to that we have to give a we have give a connect supply you, you can look at that this is represent a functional generator this represent a functional generator therefore functional generator we should be come to that 100 this is this this is for functional generator to be connected here functional generator knob <coughs> sub supply is to be given here now diode you see that diode is diode is that diode diode is very important you take some diodes therefore don't don't uh, uh, this is uh, this is the some diet this is the p side some diet this is this is this is the p side but in this case particularly this diet this is the p side remember this is the p side and this is the n therefore i just you can see look at that this according to the diagram the p that means the anode side should be connected like this it is to be connected like this very simple circuit Now you can see that the limiting resistance in series and diode and RL is both are in parallel. Both are in parallel. Now what we'll do that now what we'll do that we get the output. Output should be measured from output should be measured from look at that output should be measured from the RL. RL, therefore, it should be connected. That this output should be measured from here. <coughs> be careful, output is output should not be measured from here. Output should be measured from here. That means and this side is grounded this side is grounded therefore we have to take therefore don't connect the output with the ground Let, this is the grounding this is the grounding side now you can look at that this is the functional generator let us first this is they give the functional generator here the red red one this is a supply i am i am connecting to the rs one end of the rs you can see one end of the RS is connected here and other end is grounded. Therefore, this is you can connect to the this end, this end. And then you take care of this that two, two should not touch each other. It should be taken care of. Now, challenge number one. Challenge number one, you can connect wherever you have connected, wherever you have connected the function and generator because this is a challenge number one will measure the input waveforms when input waveform therefore you will get the sinusoidal waveform you are getting the sinusoidal waveforms you are getting the sinusoidal waveform in the input waveform now you should get if as soon as you connect as as soon as you connect the channel number two you should get the proper output waveforms therefore you just connect black connect the black ground. one to the ground and the red one to the that is the output you are taking an output from here you can see here <coughs> You see here that that perfectly that it is coming. You just positioning it. You just positioning it. This is a positioning. You can position here this one. Uh, then you can see that 
that is the output waveforms, a part of the input waveforms are being cut. Therefore, you can see here that that output waveforms and the input waveforms are overlapping to each other. But the output waveforms are in indicated by the yellow, yellow one, but it has been cut from the input waveform it is cut. Therefore, according to the according to the expected waveforms, we are getting the same type of waveforms. Are you clear? This is the here. This is here. And again, again, if you want to take next, we are going for a double-ended clipper. With the double-ended clipper, as you see in the diagram, double-ended clipper is nothing as exactly the same as the positive-ended clipper, and only another diode should be connected just in the opposite directions. You can say the directions of the previous one. Therefore, just here, nothing to do here. Just we can connect another one. Everything adjustment, adjustment of your functional generator, adjustment of your oscilloscope will remain the same. First, you have to do that task. Then you have to double-ended clipper. You see that what direction you have connected. In this is just it will be in the opposite. It will be in the opposite directions. If you do not have any space to connect, you can you can you can take the help of an OS. And we just let uh, we can you can if you if you are very congested you can take the help of your oil but we will connect it here only you can you can see that it is being connected just in the opposite of the previous one opposite of the previous one then you can immediately you are getting a double ended clipper output immediately you are getting a double ended clipper output this is a double ended clipper output <coughs> are you clear and this is a double ended clipper